This video might be choppy, might not even upload. I don't know what's going on. Once again, I'm reading dumb fucking statements placed on my page and shit. Now I'm apparently defending the police officer that shot the kid. Just because I say stupid people go do dumb shit, just because I said the man is already dead, leave him the fuck alone. No, you defending him. How in the fuck am I defending somebody who made the gravest mistake of their entire life? This man didn't quit his job and son his family out of town. This man is in hiding because of what the fuck he did. Death threats? For what? For what? Why somebody gonna threaten somebody? For something that don't have nothing to fucking do with them. I honestly want to tell you this. What happened to that young man in the bar station has nothing to do with you guys. Nobody. It's none of my fucking business. Yes, what happened was a grave injustice to all humanity. Black people, white people, young people especially. When a hired police officer, a hired police force, no different than those people out in Iraq protecting so-called interests. This is a hired gun. Procedures. Technique. Training. I mentioned all that in that video. I never once defended nobody in this situation. I wish this man's daughter get all she got coming to her. I wish this man and the BART station and everything pay out they nose like the Goldmans tried to make OJ. Do you understand the significance of that? When a group of people run out in the street protesting, tearing up shit, that does not solve the problem. That does not bring nobody back to life. That draws more attention. Back in the days when people used to protest over injustice, what happened? You people don't remember. You people don't fucking remember. I would rather see this man get hung in a court of law than hung on the streets in America. Because once people begin to believe that, you know what, the law's not working, we're going to be the law ourselves. You know what happens, don't you? You'll stop seeing police cars. And you'll start seeing military vehicles. So fuck all you dumb, ignorant ass, hillbilly, fuck, backwards ass niggas. I said it. Stupid, crazy, crack ass peck of woods too. All the people who think I'm a black man defending a cop who shot a handcuffed person face down on the ground is fucking stupid. I am defending you. And if you cannot see the course of action in which you want to take to extrude justice for somebody else who you ain't going to give a fuck about 16 months from now, understand you get what you want. You want to see tanks running down the street? You want to see the little military MPs at the quick stop checking you, make sure you ain't got no weed or blunts? Huh? Huh? I can't fucking hear you. You know who the fuck I'm talking to. That old peanut head ass nigga talking about, I can't believe you defending that police officer. I can't believe you can't see what I say when I speak in my videos. Don't watch me. Your brain is not wide enough to open up. Don't watch me no more. If you cannot understand the significance of one man wanting a group of people to survive a situation like this, understand when the tanks roll through the streets like in Tiananmen Square they don't stop on a dime they don't stop for crime they don't stop for you they don't stop for me they roll until the general say gut the engine what part of civil discourse don't you understand
Break my neck to go answer the goddamn phone. This this is this heats you up. This makes you warm under the collar to think that you know, hey, when I talked about the Philadelphia police officers snatching that person out of the car it was all about. Man, if they were white, you wouldn't be saying this. Da 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 blah blah blah. Then um I talked about something else. And whenever you talk on subjects like this, dumb ass fucking people do not understand the significance of civil discourse. Once the police feel as if they can't govern the people, the military steps in. I don't want to see no fucking tanks rolling down the streets in Oakland because one fool wanted to go shoot at a police car. You can't even... When we... When we as kids, we lived in Rodeo, California. And right there on California Street, there's like a parking lot right here in a big old hill. Right across was my house. Now, the parking lot right there was the perfect spot. Right there. And when the cops used to come through, fucking with people, we used to throw rocks and bricks at their car from that vantage point. Why? Because we're ignorant, stupid fucking kids. I'm 40 years fucking old. I'm not going to go ride on the fucking police knowing the outcome of what happens. How fucking stupid can you be to even type some shit in a fucking page on a medium? On a medium that is scrutinized fucking, what do, what's the word I want to use, fucking filter to the fucking gill, and you're going to talk about killing a motherfucker, or going after the law, or attacking police. You people are stupid. People type shit, they run that shit back. There's a database right now with every motherfucker's name in it. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. And whenever you do something like this, I was on the phone talking about some shit the other day, and I was talking about a movie plot, and I'm telling the guy, I, I can't even fucking really talk about it. If I say this over the telephone, and anything remotely like what I said over the phone happens within the next five or six years, strong, buddy, locked down. What you type in the bottom of the page, there's people reading that shit. Ooh, shit, where he live at? Don't comment on my shit if you guys type some old negative old bullshit. You save that for the racist motherfuckers who want to kill me by saying positive shit about white people and black people in unity. They want to Martin Luther King me when I walk down the motherfucking street and you stupid motherfuckers talking about shooting at the police. Then somebody told me something about crack. We don't sell crack. I'd appreciate you don't mention crack in your videos because that's a negative thing that occurred in the black community. Motherfucker niggas sell niggas crack. Stupid motherfucker. How in the fuck you gonna tell me not to speak on something that's true? Huh? How in the fuck you gonna tell me that? Huh? Shit, you fucking stupid. You go buy a rap record talking about your, your girl sucking on this and that. You play it in front of your three-year-old daughter for the next 18 years of life. Next thing she know, all she doing is sitting up with some plugged in her motherfucking mouth. Look at what the fuck you doing. Look at the drama you create. Don't tell me I'm saying something wrong on this. I do a little comedy skit, pull up a bag of fucking flour, and everybody think I'm trying to sell dope. Pull up a bag of goddamn shit out of the goddamn backyard. Shit, people think I got a big old giant bag of weed. What the fuck is the world coming to when everything someone says to you is taken so fucking literally that you gotta go out and threaten the police? Oh, I'm causing drama in the black community because I talk about drugs and I talk about violence and I talk about hooking up white people and I'm talking about hooking up black people and I talk about being people's cool with. I'm, I'm talking about good shit. If you can't decipher my shit, don't fucking watch it. You can't break me down, don't watch me. You can't understand me, you've been tubed.